our next topic is type of indexes. So first one is B tree. What is B tree index? Or what is B tree? The main, not the index. What is B tree? We are not discussing any data structure type of things here. If you want to learn the B tree, just go to the Wikipedia and learn about the B tree. The links is link is here, or you can Google it. What is B tree? But here we will discuss what is B tree index within the PostgreSQL. So here supported operator so i will tell where b3 index will can be used it can be used on less than operator less than equal to equal to greater than equal to and greater than so almost it will cover all your need but there is slight difference where we have a different variety of index types so but default index is b3 in postgresql when you don't specify anything in using like create an index a name of that index which is idx underscore b3 on a foo table using b3 name if you are not using b3 using b3 is optional if you are not using b3 it will create a b3 index for you because b3 is default for that but here i have used that because for just for the clarity so and during the table explain analyze select static from foo where name is equal to text so you can see the index idx b3 is used so it's a simple example of b3 index so here we are creating a table with an id and name and some other columns like you have hundreds of columns in that table so you are inserting data like one lx and hundreds of small column, then two Bob and hundred more column. So here I don't have enough space to write hundreds of column here. So just I put dot dot dot. So let's continue. So now I'm selecting data, select CTID, select static from foo. So it will give that index, the B tree will store the CTID and the index column in the form of B tree, as a form of B tree data structure. So it will be easy for it to search within the, in that tree. So it quick and fast, it will search and it will give you the city ID where that information is stored. And then you can go to that because we already discussed CTID first column means the block number and the second column means the offset. So you can go to the block number and the right side you can see the blocks in the RAM. So you can go to the block and you can read, you can go to the offset of that block and you can read the Alex and the other columns. So like here, again I will explain that that if we insert some data into table, it will also store this, it will also have some information of CTID where that rows is stored. And when you create an index, it will store the CTID and the name and the value of that column which is used to create an index in the form of B3. And when you want to search that information, it will traverse the B tree and extract that data, extract the pointer for you. And from that pointer, you can go to the RAM, search and, and find that information directly. So that's why you don't need to sequentially scan your whole table. Okay. Subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell to receive all the notification of future lesson. Take the full course and pass the quiz in Google Class to get the certificate. Just open Google Classroom and click join class. Enter the code of that class.